Hello, my brothers and sisters. Today is April 19th, 2011. This morning, I was watching an Alex Jones video uh, titled EU Prepares Ground Invasion of Libya. And the first thing that came to my mind was uh, the scripture in Habakkuk about Babylon. Um, in Habakkuk 1.17, um, in the King James Version, it says, Shall they therefore empty their net and not spare continually to slay the nations? Now that's uh, kind of difficult to understand, so that's how come I use the NIV uh, a lot. It says, is he to keep on emptying his net, destroying nations without mercy? Okay, now the EU and the United States uh, are under the influence or uh, under the control of the New World Order or the central banks, which is the Federal Reserve and the Bank of England, which the Federal Reserve is owned by the Bank of England through the Rothschild family. Um, these people actually control uh, the kings of the earth, like the Bible says, um, that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. So um, this invasion on Libya is a new world order thing, um, just like Iraq was. They didn't have a central bank. They were a, a dictatorship. They did not have a central bank controlled by the Rothschilds. And uh, so... Um, that's what's happening, is that uh, the New World Order is going in there, and that's another reason why oil prices are being raised right now, is because uh, the New World Order <clears throat> is going into these nations, the OPEC nations, the nations that give the world their, o their oil, and uh, that's the reason the oil prices are go up, going up, and that is the that is what they want to do. They want to raise the oil prices to break America. And uh, they want to make it to where we cannot fight back. Um, one thing that they're terrified of is that we're going to wake up and uh, we're going to um, put a stop to what they're doing. But the Bible says differently. Uh, the Bible does say that we will wake up. It says in Habakkuk, Two six. It says, uh, um, in Habakkuk two five, it says, "He takes captives all the peoples. Will not all of them taunt him with ridicule, ridicule and scorn, saying, Woe to him who piles up stolen goods.' Now, one thing that." Uh, the Libya leader had was he had gold and he had billions of dollars of assets and the New World Order has seized all these assets and seized their gold. One thing they want is gold because uh, they counterfeit gold certificates and people are demanding gold because they're waking up and so the New World Order needs more gold because I don't know if they're running low, I don't know, but uh, I know that they're having trouble coming up with gold and silver to fulfill the contracts because people now want uh, physical gold and silver. And so Libya is a nation that's very rich, and or not a nation that's rich, but uh, the Libyan leader, Gaddafi, you know, he has uh, a lot of gold over there. Well, had. Um, anyway, it says, Woe to him who piles up stolen goods and makes himself wealthy by extortion. How long must this go on? Will not your debtors suddenly arise? Will they not wake up and make you tremble? Then you will become their victim because you have plundered many nations. The people who are left will plunder you. So um, I'm telling you right now, the New World Order is done for. Um, one thing they did is they caused this depression. They made me homeless. And God says that he is going to um, plead my cause. And that is in uh, Jeremiah. I'll try to get to the scriptures quickly here. I'm 
going through uh, the Bible here. Um, it says, and I'm reading in the NIV version. Um, in Jeremiah 51, 36, it says, Therefore, this is what the Lord says. See, I will defend your cause and avenge you. I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. Babylon will be a heap of ruins, a haunt of jackals, an object of scorn and horror, a place where no one lives. Now, the banks and the corporations are Babylon, and God is going to uh, make them haunt of jackals. Uh, the people are going to wake up, Jeremiah 51, 14, I will fill you with swarms of men as with swarms of locusts. And uh, and so um, then the Bible says in Jeremiah 52, it says, um, it says, announce and proclaim among the nations. And in the, in the, King James Version, it says, Publish Among the Nations, which I published a book called uh, Mystery Babylon Finally Revealed. And it says in there, the New World Order is captured. It says, uh, Announce and proclaim among the nations, lift up a banner and proclaim it, keep nothing back but say, Babylon will be captured. Uh, Bell will be put to shame. Bell means leaders. Like Bernanke, George Soros, uh, Rockefeller, which you don't see. Uh, the Rothschilds, which you don't see because the media, the New World Order controlled media does not want to um, make them public. Um, Marduk filled with terror, that's rebellion. Her images will be put to shame, that's, uh, you know, the dollar, the euro. Um, and her idols filled with terror, that's loan papers, it's an idol because... Uh, you know, it's it's made out of wood and 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 uh, it's fake. These people don't have the money to loan you. They create it, so they're fake. Credit cards are fake. Um, and so uh, her idols will be filled with terror. And you know, I, I was thinking a while back. Um, well, if God says to come out of her, my people, that's Revelations eighteen four. What will that do? That will put us in the desert. And every time I think of something, I always stumble across the scripture. You know, I'm not I'm not a theologian and I don't know the scriptures by heart, but you know, I always read uh, scriptures that that uh, just confirm what I'm what I know. You know, just just like I've had ten dreams that God is well actually 17, 10 of which are uh, published in the book Mystery Babylon Finally Revealed. You can get that on Amazon. Um, but in uh, Isaiah 48, 20, it says, Leave Babylon. Flee from the Babylonians or the bankers. Um, announce with shouts of joy and proclaim it. Send it out to the ends of the earth and say, The Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. Jacob. They did not thirst when he led them through the desert. And he made water flow for them from the rock. He split the rock and the water gushed out. Now, um, Revelations 18 says that they looked afar off and they saw the burning, the smoke of her burning. That is uh, Babylon. Uh, that's the banks and the corporations. You know, the merchants and the ship, you know, the... Uh, the merchants of the earth are going to cry. They're going to look at Babylon and cry because of how great she was. Um, so, um, you know, it's really interesting. When we come out of Babylon, if we buy gold and silver, trade in our fake images for something that has value, then we're going to crash the system. And the Bible says in Jeremiah uh, 51, 20, it says, You are my weapon for battle. With you I shatter the kingdoms. With you, I take down nations. God says that we are his battle axe. So buy gold and silver. And, uh, you know, please leave your comments at the bottom. Um, maybe somebody knows something I don't. I don't know. Um, I consider myself an expert because no one has taught me this. Only God has taught me this. Nobody else teach, has been teaching me this. Only I know and understand, and I'm trying to teach my brothers and sisters what the scriptures mean, what Babylon means. 
So buy gold and silver. Come out of Babylon so, you do, so that you do not partake in her plagues. The plagues are going to be the dollar is going to dry. Jeremiah 50, 38. It is a land of images. They have gone mad upon their images. Um, I have so much more to teach. Um, but I am just uh, trying to get a little uh, information on one subject. And... Uh, but my brothers and sisters, please read Jeremiah 50, 51, and the book of Habakkuk, and just understand who the new world order is. You know, the Bible says in, Jer in uh, Daniel 12, uh, 4, it says, uh, seal up the words of this prophecy until the time of the end. Knowledge will be increased or be abundant. So um, we got the internet, people. They want to shut down the internet. J. Rockefeller. You know, the family of the Rockefellers that control the Federal Reserve. You know, they want to shut down the Internet. So my brothers and sisters, please study and find out who the New World Order is and read the Bible, Revelation 17 and 18. The New World Order is Babylon. Babylon will be captured. I'm sorry. Babylon is captured. It will not be. It's not that it will not be. It's... It's that it is captured. So that's what we must do. Come out with shouts of joy. And, uh, you know, people, uh, well, I'm going to make another video and uh, try to get to more topics. I'm running, I'm running on a little bit here. So uh, please stay tuned uh, for my next videos. And... Uh, this video is in, is in response to Alex Jones. Um, again, EU prepares ground invasion of Libya. And of course, uh, EU is led by the New World Order. America is led by the New, or New World Order. So, God bless my brothers and sisters and see you in the next video.